two of the greatest thrash albums of all time. R.I.P. is considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest thrash album of all time by many. And Justice is the last thrash album Metallica would do. Until recent. Future albums would have some thrash elements, but this is the last pure one. The race is close as Metallica holds a one album lead. And a three song lead after demolishing the last round. Will Megadeth come and shine? Or will he rust in? Let's just get this started. Megadeth. And Metallica. The one scrappy underdog. And the Metal Mount Olympus. Two of the greatest metal bands of all time. And one of the on the internet will pit these two juggernauts head to head, album to album, song to song, to find out who truly is. Blackened is a fantastic, amazing, almost as perfect of an opening song as you can get. However, remember how I said there's only one song that could beat Master of Puppets? Yeah. Holy War is just simply a perfect song. It's the thrash stairway to heaven. The pinnacle of an evolving structure instead of following the standard formula. In another way saying, one nothing Megadeth. The Shredder Hogs Anthem against the Justice System Anthem. One of the most fun songs to play in Guitar Hero. Hangry Teen manages to keep the Nick Menza conspiracy theory lyrics to a minimum and just lets Marty and Dave just glow. It's so well known, in fact, that even my non metalhead, non Megadeth huge fan sister knows every Hangry Teen solo by heart. It came on in the car and she was singing with it. So proud. Justice is a solid song. However, I think it could have been shortened a little bit. It's a song I do listen to on occasion, and if it comes on shuffle, I don't, you know, sh skip it, but I don't go seeking it out. You gotta love that pedaling opener for Beholder. The song as a whole just has a slow, heavy chug that just really gets your head a bobbing. Where the song does fall flat for me, though, is, you know, the chorus and pre-chorus sections. The riffs are just meh. The vocal melodies, though, are a great contrast. Take No Prisoners, you know, takes no prisoners. You should see the pits that this song generates. The riffs aren't complex, but they're flying right at you. It also just doesn't overstay its welcome. It gets in, thrashes your face off, and bounces. Megadeth with a commanding 3-0 lead. Five Magics is a great song, but one is up there with Master of Puppets and Holy Wars as one of the greatest thrash songs of all time. Perfectly paced with a gripping subject, but one on the scoreboard. Between the haunting bass opening to some of my favorite Megadeth riffs. Poison Was a Cure is a thrash-tastic time that if you're trying to speed up your playing, is a great song to learn. The Shortest Straw has one of the best Metallica choruses. And the song itself is a good competitor to go against Poison. Good enough to be the antidote? I'd say yes. Its riffs and transitions are smooth and undeniably great. Containing one of the most intricate main riffs and one of Marty's best solos that seamlessly flows into Dave's. Lucretia is a sleeper on an album or on many other albums would have been the mainstay. Harvester of Sorrow is one of my favorite riff melodies. Really, just melodies overall. This is one of those tracks that just kind of gets stuck in my head overall. Lucretia was very, very close to taking this one, and part of me really wants it to, but it will feel sorrow. Tornado of Souls not only contains, to me, Marty's best solo, but frankly, it's one of the best solos of all time. People will say now that's overhyped and gets so much love, just, just stop it. Now, yes, when people make fun of Dave's voice, this is the song people really point to, especially live. The rest of it though, is just far too powerful to be taken down. But man, Frey to Ends comes so close. The song has great potential to take down Tornado, but it's a bit too bloated, especially towards the end of it. Megadeth back on top. Is Dawn Patrol just a bassist, chunky, wet dream? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. To Live Is To Die On Contrast is 10 minutes of just instrumental filler. This is the one I think will really piss people off, but I don't care. While it's beyond simplistic, Dawn Patrol does an amazing thing that I hold in high regard when I do reviews or anything. Atmosphere, 
it just purely pours the atmosphere of the album down your throat. To Live feels more like a reprise because it has a lot of elements from other tracks. And in, in my opinion, is one of, if not the weakest instrumental from Metallica. As I go through this journey, I'll get a refresher on that. Perfect example of quality over quantity. With this win, Megadeth takes the round, but there's one more track. Closing out, we get the chaotic title track, Rust in Peace, Polaris, and The Cat. This song is absolutely nuts. The main riff is groovy as all get out. Now, Dire's Eve is a perfect song to go against Rust. It's just as nuts with its speed. These two tracks actually really serve the same purpose. However, R.E.P. takes it as that main riff just takes it over the top. Dire's Eve, though, has a killer solo. With this win, not only did Mega tie up the albums, but they've also tied up the song count. This was definitely the tightest round so far, despite the score. Just the little nuances of R.I.P. helped it, and just had to sing R.I.P. to justice. The next one, though, is probably the biggest battle of them all, as we pit the two biggest and most popular albums from both bands, Countdown to Extinction, against Metallica. What? It's not called the Black Album. For confusion's sake, we'll call it the Black Album. 